there's an old Chinese proverb that says, welcome back to guitar quackery. Yeah, and there's another one that says, don't talk too much. Let's just get on with the show. All right, so let's go to the studio. Jamie's here. We're testing a bit with diagnosing, right? So what were you hearing? Clicking. Did you hear that? You hear that, right? So first we thought that you thought that it was happening when you play fast, right? Then uh, play a little bit. And then I noticed that you are holding your thumb right there at the pickup. So I thought it had, well, I had a theory that it had nothing to do with you playing fast, but simply because that's where you rest your thumb, you touch the pickup. And in fact, when you do touch the pickup, it crackles. Yeah, so let's move the string away. It's microphone. True. Uh, click. Yeah, you heard that little. Okay, so um, we spent about what ten minutes talking, and I had a theory. What was the theory? The theory was that. So you bought this I was used. It. Yeah, no, but what exactly is happening? You bought this used, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't know the history of this bass. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that somebody used steel wool to clean the fretboard, and particles got attracted by the magnetic pull pieces, and now they are trapped inside of the pickup. So let's go to the quackery lab and look under the microscope. We put the base under the microscope. We see it on the screen here. We're focused on you know one of the pole pieces here. And now let's look at the screen what we see. What we see is this, a whole bunch of metal particles stuck around the pole piece, yes? Okay, so now, um, those metal particles are going to cause clicking when we touch the pickup, yeah? Now, that's not all. Uh, we're gonna focus on this screw over here, so I'm going to move the base so that we can look at this screw, refocus a little bit. Now look at the screen. So the screw also is magnetic and it attracted all these metal particles there. Uh, I'm sure there's more metal particles around this whole piece over here. Look at all the steel wool inside. See that? Yeah. So now, what are we gonna do, Jamie? We're gonna have to just change the pickups because I don't think it's cost effective to clean them. There's no guarantee. You said you didn't like the sound anyway. Right. Right, so we're gonna choose something and just give it a second life or something along those lines. To understand the problem, we first need to understand how pickups work. A pickup is basically a magnetic pole piece with some wire wrapped around it, which we call a coil. By itself, the pickup does absolutely nothing, and that's because the magnetic field around the pole piece is static. But when a moving steel object crosses the magnetic field, it creates a dynamic magnetic field, which in turn creates a voltage differential inside of the coil. In that case, the pickup, in effect, becomes a mini electric generator that produces alternating current. The pickup doesn't really care if the moving steel object is a vibrating string or perhaps something else, like a fragment of steel wool that bounces around, like we've seen and heard in this case. But I discovered something else. I had the opportunity to examine those pickup, pick, pickups again afterwards, and I also realized that there were other metal particles stuck around the pole pieces mixed in with the steel wool. As it turns out, those pickups were relict, perhaps with a wire brush or sandpaper, I don't really know. So there were also some fragments from the pole pieces mixed in with the steel wool. But that base was not 
the only instrument that I've seen with this problem. I've seen plenty. So now let's have a look at a Strat pick guard that I've removed from a custom built guitar. The builder of this guitar used steel wool on the frets and of course the steel wool got all of the pickups. So um, I'm cleaning each pickup individually one by one. So here I'm using uh, the microscope to uh, uh, really see what I'm doing. So we can see a lot of the uh, steel wool particles around the pole pieces. We cannot use uh, a magnet uh, to clean this. Uh, we should not be using a magnet to clean this. These are all nickel uh, pole pieces. But what I am using is uh, just uh, modeling clay. So now with the modeling clay, I can go in and, and pick up some of these particles of um, steel wool. And the pickup comes out really clean. It takes forever, but we're gonna be able to clean it up. Just like that. And uh, I guess it's a good idea after each whole piece to simply throw away the little piece and start with a fresh one. Yeah. This takes a long time and I'm only showing you a little segment. Oh, sorry. A guitar quackery. Well, you're very observant. Yeah, I did clean it up. I can prove it. I have a recording. Okay, thank you. Uh, subscribe, please. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> a very observant viewer noticed that there was a little piece of steel wool still left on that pole piece. Well, as I said, I was just showing you a segment of the whole cleanup procedure. But yes, if I cut to it, now you can see that I'm actually pushing it with a little tool because it was really stubborn and then I pick it up. And that also took forever, but I did eventually manage to remove it. Now, let's talk about something else. Do you know what I'm gonna say? Please like, share and subscribe. If you wish to support this work financially, you can click the link below that says buy me a coffee or you can join me on Patreon or you can even buy some clothes to wear. There's a merch shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you soon.